How's it going guys? Welcome to another video. Today I'm excited because it's the Peter Crowther 2020 tournament that I've been looking forward to for a while. Um, as you can see out the window, conditions not super great, windscreen wipers are on, persistent rain, forecast said it was only going to be patchy but looks like we've got some pretty, well, relatively strong rain for the morning at least. Um, so yeah. Heading over to Parklands, uh, Queen's Park right now for the players meeting. Uh, check in with everyone, make sure we're all good and then we'll split up to our courses. I'm starting at Brook Rav first, so looking forward to that. I uh, just thought I'd record a bit of the day on, on the GoPro and hopefully it's entertaining to watch. So yeah, we'll see you when we get to Parklands. It's windy out here at Queen's Park. Here we are at Queen's Park. Tournament Central is getting set up as we speak. I've done some practice putting. It's uh, pretty dirty. My hands are filthy. My discs are filthy. But putting's going alright. It's pretty windy. Uh, so hopefully you can hear me. I'm going to put on the uh, lab for the round so at least you can get close up of what I'm talking about. But yeah, it's going well. Might see you over at uh, Hey, Bray. <laughs> How are you doing? Good. Good. Is that your video? Oh, no, I was using the Yeah, I'm making a little. Oh, you want to make a video? Hello! <laughs> Time to head over to Brooker and get set up for round one. Okay, we've arrived at Brooker. Time to set up the cart. All right, heading into Brooker. Hopefully this doesn't make you too seasick. Got the mic on now, so the wind shouldn't be as much of a problem, but you never know. It is pretty strong today. Hopefully be able to get a couple of drives in before we start. Oh my God, that wind. All right, I'm gonna do a couple of quick practice, practice drives. Got two minutes to do it. I do. They're awesome. Uh, mine's, mine's a flippy. And then the most over, well, the, I've got a moonshine world, which is the most overstable plastic of the worlds. And I mean, I've got a giant, which is plus one as well, and it's kind of flippy. Uh, tournament and a VIP. Okay, that's not. Well, it was either a, it was either a flip or a. All right, see you guys. Bye. Has our card no changed? Wi -Fi. No see you boys. Would have been nice to play with you. <laughs> see ya. All right, I've been swapped to hole three. So, heading over to hole three now. Hi everyone, turns out that I'm on this card. Uh, last time I checked, like two days ago, I was on T2. Oh my God, that is cheeky. 
Oh, I'm so glad that I'm still at work. Oh my God. Wow. Hey. <laughs> yeah, not bad. Slight, slightly uh, elevated heart rate currently, but. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, righty. Punt. Okay, well there we go. 
Brooker Ave, done and dusted. That was a rough round. So windy. Man, I wasn't ready for that. Didn't shoot a great score, 67, I think. So I'm not actually sure how that is to par, but hopefully looking to improve. I've heard Queen's Park is super windy as well, which is unsurprising. It's really windy today. Uh, but yeah, just gotta play safe, be sensible. Hopefully shoot a good score. We'll see you over at Queen's Park. All right, we're here at Queen's Park. Round two of the Peter Crowther, we got Mark, Cam, and Tyler. Let's get into it. <laughs> nice. Oh, nice too. Wow, okay, second round's done, Queen's Park's done. Not really happy with how I performed, it was pretty shocking to be honest. A um, lot windier than I expected, and yeah, just feeling a bit rough because of the conditions, just like, it wears you down, so not performing at the level that I wanted to. I had to settle for some pretty unfortunate bogeys purely because I was upshotting really bad, like 30 meter upshot, and then I was putting it to 15, and then there was no way I could putt that in the wind, so. Just suffering a lot of bogeys where I should have been getting pars. A um, couple of really bad putts as well that just went chain high but just left all right. Um, got the comeback as though, but still it's bogey. Uh, so yeah, finished on plus one. So not at all what I expected. I wanted to be at least two or three, four under. Would, would have been awesome, but... Oh well, the forecast tomorrow is looking a lot better. So fingers crossed. Um, fingers crossed the condition and the mood improves. Uh, always looking positive, so... Hopefully tomorrow is a good day. Um, I think that about wraps it up for now, so we'll see you then. Oh yeah, well done. Hey guys, second day of the tournament. Heading to the course. It is a, a much nicer day today. I don't believe there's much wind. We'll see what happens when we get to the course. Heading to Parklands for the players meeting. Might do a bit of practice ahead of the game because, yeah, my play yesterday wasn't great. Um, might be able to attribute it to using a camera and talking while I'm playing. I haven't really done that too much, especially not in competition before. So I'm thinking today I might kind of not focus on the camera so much and try and move up some spots. And a top 10 finish in advance would be awesome. So that's going to be my goal today. Um, not sure if it's possible. I'm kind of sitting at about 15th at the moment, so it's going to require some pretty hot shooting. But anyway, that's the goal. Let's see how we go. See you with the course. Alright, round 
three, Queen's Park start. We got Kyron, Kyla, myself, Roddy. Let's go. Let's do it. Maybe. Okay, Queen's Park done, front nine, feeling good. I shot five under in way nicer conditions. It's so nice to not have to worry about your up shots or runs going random places with the, with the strong wind, so feeling so much better. Uh, also, I feel like I was concentrating less on the video. I don't know if I just got it used to it like from yesterday, but feeling a lot more natural in front of the camera. Uh, just more settled, so yeah, just feeling really good in general. Uh, I guess the, the good conditions are probably the, the main thing, just need to get better at dealing with those. But yeah, feeling super. Heading over to Brooker Ave now, there's probably going to be a bit of a delay because that course takes a bit more time. So just going to chill out for a little bit uh, and get settled in for the back nine at Brooker Ave. We'll see you there. Hey Mikey, what are you eating there? Uh, the everyday nutrition snack bar, one square meal, thanks Twizel. Yeah? Yeah, community. Oh, it's that true. from the... Y your day, your, yeah. your disc golf day. Yeah, well, Sweet. when you're teaching and stuff. Yeah. And they gave us some snacks to eat and I uh, saved a couple. Nice. Just for the rounds. All right, well while we're here on this little backup, tell us about the Twizel disc golf community and what you're doing there. Oh, so that was really fun. We, uh, myself and Liana, uh, went out there and were teaching the kids uh, about disc golf and how to throw. A lot of first timers. Sweet. Uh, yeah, it was cool. pretty cool. You have a little tournament. Had a little mini tournament for cool. locals and yeah. stuff uh, to you know, see get the kids to win and have fun and prizes for everybody. Yeah, it was really good. And what are you like? What, what's your forecast? Like, how do you reckon they're going to turn out? Are they a good bunch of people? Like, oh man, there's some kids you can yeah. throw good there. Yep. Sweet. And there's some like really like younger ones and girls as well that were out there throwing been super stoked nice yeah. cool really good, good vibes man keep it up
guys, wrapping it up. Hope you don't mind the handheld camera. Don't quite have the studio set up as I usually do, so it's handheld for the moment. And I didn't film an outro video on the day because I was pretty unhappy with how things went. Um, the conditions were just a bit rough for me. I mean, it's, that was my first tournament in about one and a half years, and I just wasn't quite ready. Um, you know, for those people who played it, you know those conditions. Everyone was so miserable. It was just really uncomfortable. You just got worn out just being out there in the rain and the wind. And, and yeah, just didn't play the way I wanted, wanted to play. Um, the thing that annoyed me the most was that I really wanted a top 10 finish in advanced. And I was so close to getting that. It came down to my last two holes at Brookerav on the final round. Holes 7 and 8. Um, and if you know Brooker well, those are two pretty difficult holes. Um, especially hole 7. We were pretty fortunate because we had lead card ahead of us. And there was a backup at hole 7. So we watched them play the hole. And they threw spike heises on the right hand side over the bushes and they were parking the basket. And so I was thinking, hey, I could probably throw that throw. You know, I'm, I'm, I consider my skills good enough to throw a big sky heiser. And so I tried to do it and I threw it straight into the bushes. I just didn't commit. And then once you're in those bushes, you're pretty much looking at a bogey at best. And so I pitched out, my pitch out rolled to the other side of the fairway and I had to do another pitch out to make my upshot. And by then, I was just exhausted, unhappy, and I got a double bogey. So that put me two strokes behind where I wanted to be. And then, hole eight to finish. I'm not very good at hole eight, and I bogeyed it. So I lost three strokes, and I lost my top ten finish on the last two holes of the tournament. So yeah, super unhappy with that. But hey, I got 13th overall, I'm pretty sure. So for my first tournament, in one and a half years, I think 13th is pretty good and a great place to start rebuilding for my uh, for my next run of tournaments. Um, so yeah, anyway, I hope you enjoyed watching this tournament video. It was super fun to make and I look forward to making more in the future. Please like this video if you've enjoyed it and subscribe to see more. Catch you in the next one.